Hello, my name is Jeff Watson. I'm the Principal Mining Engineer at MEC Mining. Today I want to talk to you uh, about three aspects of, of what we do well in the underground coal business. I want to talk about mineability assessments for both long wall and development, uh, more about the process. Uh, I want to talk about the value driver trees and how important they are to understand and unlock value in mining processes. And I want to talk about the, the management operating systems uh, I like to call the, the best of the best, uh, acronym, acronym the BOB. Um, but first, cab off the rank is the mineability assessments and in a, in a really quick sort of uh, uh, run through the, the, the process, the mineability assessments are, are part of what uh, the value driver tree aspect of, of, uh, of this talk will, uh, will cover. And in particular, uh, around the, the way that uh, the mineability aspects uh, impact rates. So by rates, I mean uh, you know, meters per operating hour, tons per operating hour, um, and, so, and, 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 and the variability that, that occurs within those rates that mean that uh, you know, product production forecasts uh, are, are often um, you know, influenced by the mineability of, of the deposit um, and giving rise to uh, variations in output which obviously affect the bottom line uh, and downstream processes. So the typical value driver tree for, uh, for, the, for the underground we, where we have uh, rates uh, and, and time, um, these, these flow through to obviously an output uh, and, and eventually uh, you know, rom tons and yield and, and, and product from all the other different little value driver trees that, uh, that, that feed into the, into the output. So the mineability matrix is uh, essentially a, uh, a combination of factors that will influence the productivity and, and, and the rates. Um, the factors that, that we uh, generally look at, um, at fr uh, around uh, the target seam uh, in there you've got seam thickness and quality and strength etc. We talk about gas reservoir and how that influences uh, or might influence the, the, the rates. Uh, we talk about groundwater uh, and we talk about roof and floor characterization as well to make sure that uh, we understand the resource and uh, its influence on, on production rates. The process uh, takes um, uh, weightings and, and, uh, and rankings from this mineability matrix and essentially over the mine plan you can uh, estimate uh, the influence of this mineability on the production rates such that at any one time in the mine plan sequence the, uh, the, the production rates and, um, and outputs can be more confidently predicted and, and forecasted. Thank you.